What's up, YouTube? Tony Soros Rex here. Welcome back to finally another taste test video. I think the last one I did was the spicy foods one, which obviously, as you guys know, I regretted soon after because I had that ulcer in my mouth. So we finally got our new snack crate for the month. I haven't even opened it at all. Usually I open it and see what I got before I join you guys. I'm going to scoot back a little bit because I keep hitting my desk and it's making my camera shake. But as you can see, I have not opened it. I'm not showing the front because I'm not giving out my address, but the tape is still on here. So I have no idea what country this is from this month. So this is almost like a mystery box for me. And a mystery box for y'all. Now you guys are probably going to notice because I'm putting this up Tuesday now instead of a Dragon Ball Z video that my hair and beard have been trimmed up in this video. And then the next one I look like a disgruntled former employee that got fired from McDonald's or something. <laughs> That's how I felt, so I, shaved, so I cut my hair and my beard, but those were all recorded over the course of the weekend, so that's why those videos will go back to that, and then this one's a new one. So this is from, oh, hey, that was just mean. They just threw a thing in here to trick you that says these snacks are expired, and it says just kidding, they aren't, but you might think that if you don't pay close attention to the date format. To help ease your mind, we have included a handy guide of common international date formats just for you. So the U.S. format is month, day, year, and the other format is day, month, year. So I guess that will be how you can tell. I'm actually, I'm excited about this one. I'm looking at my wife to show her first. We got it from Ireland. For anyone who doesn't know, I actually have some Irish blood in me. And Amish. It's like really weird. I have Irish, Italian, and Amish, which is the weirdest combination. Fun facts, the United States White House was designed by an Irishman that won a contest in 1792 allowing him to create the building. That's interesting. More Guinness is sold in Nigeria than in Ireland annually. The Irish report the lowest annual number of UFO sightings in Europe. An Irish birthday tradition is to lift the birthday child upside down and give his head a few gentle bumps on the floor for good luck. Um, if you're from Ireland, explain that one to me. That seems kind of dangerous. <laughs> Only about 9% of people in Ireland have natural red hair, contrary to popular belief. So that's where you can see a little fun facts. And then a little about section. And then this will tell us what we got, but I'm not going to read that. Of course, we got our snacks. I mean, our snacks. Our stickers, complete with the little leprechaun man. Now let's see what we got in here. Oh, this first thing I see already sounds absolutely disgusting. <laughs> oh boy, looks like we got, looks like they heard me. I don't see as much uh, like chocolate candy stuff, but this has me worried. Tato Meanie's Pickled Onion Flavor. <laughs> That does not sound good at all. We've also got Tato Craft Vintage Irish Cheddar and Onion Flavor. Cheddar and onion might not be too bad. I'm going to set these back here on this little stool that you can't see. You can't, I know you guys can see back here on the left my little bit of my Funko Pop collection that has been moved outside. Of course, behind me, we got Rexy Jr., He's looking at you right now. He's hungry. He's thinking about eating some of these snacks while he's sitting back there. Um, this could be interesting or bad, depending on... Okay. Now it just sounds weird. It says bacon flavor fries. Then at first I was like, okay, bacon flavor fries. That doesn't sound... Then it says bacon flavor cereal snack. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but these ones are having me a little bit concerned. What else have we got in here? Oh, man. Oh, man. We got a lot of weird crap from Ireland. You guys might love this. I might not. Skip's light and melty prawn cocktail flavor. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, Ireland, you're really starting to scare me. Okay, now it looks like we do have some candy in here. Um... Uh... I don't know what this is. Drumstick Squashies Original Raspberry and Milk Flavor. 
That could be good or weird. Depends. We've got... This has, does not tell me what it is. It just says Revels or Revels. It has no description of what it is. So I might have to go to... We'll go to our little thing here. Chocolate dip bites with a mix of surprise flavors. Will you get raisin, orange, coffee, malt, chocolate, or toffee? So that could be interesting. We got these that Rebecca Ceratops would probably like. Extreme Sour Tutti Fruity Chews. This one... This one just says Sour Tutti Fruity Chews. And the other one says Sour Apple. So we got two of those. I tell you what, they really do pack a lot of stuff in here. Um, sandwich snack, milk chocolate sandwich biscuit. Here we go with all the dang chocolate again. I'm really worried about this. <laughs> I'm scared about the prawn cocktail. Um, elite chocolate Kimberly. Milk chocolate covered mellow cake. Is that one? Um, okay, this one I know is probably going to be good because it's Cadbury. Cadbury Shortcake Snack. It doesn't really say what exactly it is. It just says, in very tiny writing, Shortcake Snack. But it's Cadbury, and I don't know if I've ever known Cadbury to do anything gross. We've got a bunch of these little mini ones. Um... I don't know what this is, but it looks frightening. Some kind of hard candy. It says Oatfield Sweet since 1922, but the writing on it says glucose barley. And I know barley is like a spice that you would like cook with. So that one's a little weird. We've got this star bar. It says it's a blend of... Peanuts and caramel. So that's probably similar to something we have in the U.S. And then the drink. This could be very interesting. Um, it's Oh my goodness, I can't get out. It says Club Orange, but it says it has real bits of orange in it. So that might actually be good. Um, if you want to try some of the drink, you might want to grab a cup. And I'll save some for you. Sometimes the wife likes to try these too, not on camera, but she might want to try the drink because she likes orange. All right, so oh, all right. I'm saving the Irish cheddar and onion because that one's probably going to be good. I'm scared about the pickled onion and the prawn cocktail. I don't know which one of those I want to try first. I do have a bottle of water so I can rinse the palate after. Um, screw it. I guess I'm going to try the prawn cocktail first because that's the one I'm the most worried about. Skips are the perfectly the perfect light and melty snack. Bounce them on your tongue and let them melt in your mouth. I'm not sure I want something that tastes like prawn cocktail to melt in my mouth, but I guess you got to do what the bag says. I mean, it doesn't have a smell of shrimp or prawn or whatever you want to. It doesn't have the smell of anything. It kind of looks like a Velveeta shell, like the mac and cheese shells. Almost a little bit like a pork rind, too, kind of. Okay, now I smell it. This is going to be weird. But. Um. I need another one. This is almost actually kind of good, but weird. That is really strange. I don't taste an overly, like, prawn 
shrimp, fishy flavor, whatever you want to say. I don't taste anything overly like that. But the weird texture of it, it literally, when you put it on your tongue, it literally just dissolves on your tongue. It's actually pretty good. It might be more of the cocktail flavor than the prawn flavor. I don't know. I just know it actually tastes pretty good. Clean that out because we probably don't want that to mix with pickled onion. That would just be gross. So let's go ahead and try this pickled onion flavor. That smells horrendous. <laughs> It doesn't, the freaking monster on this thing even looks creepy. Like, it's just going to be bad. Like, it looks like he's just mocking you. And they're even called meanies. So that makes me even more worried that it's probably going to be, it looks very similar to the other one. Like a pork rindy kind of, it doesn't say you dissolve it though. Pickled onion flavor maize snacks. I don't know what maize is. Um, okay, I went through that too fast. So let's try another one and eat it slower. It's got, it's tart, which is probably the pickle part, like the dillness of it. I don't taste any onion. I mean, to be honest, I'm surprised. It's kind of like the prawn one. It's not... It's not absolutely disgusting like I would think it would be. Okay, that one. Okay, yeah, by the time I got the third one, I didn't like that. That mixture of the dill and whatever it was. It's like very tart. And slightly bitter at the same time. It's easy to put them away because the texture is so light. But then the flavor hits you after going through a few of them. So this is hand-cooked crisp Irish cheddar and onion flavor. These all seem to be from the same company, I believe. At least this one and the pickled onion ones are. They're both from that Tato company. This one looks, this smells like animal, like pet food. That kind of has me worried a little bit. <laughs> it smells like, I've said this in a video before when I had the Japanese ones. I think I said it smelled like bird feed. This thing legit smells like bird feed to me. Yeah, this smells weird. I mean, hopefully it doesn't taste as bad as it smells. Okay, it's like a regular chip though. This is, what is this one? Cheddar and onion. That's pretty good. It's kettle cooked, so it has a crunch to it. A very heavy crunch to it. You don't get a lot. That's the one thing I never get about chip bags that are small like this. Is you have a bag like this size. You look inside of it and maybe a quarter of the freaking thing is full. The rest is all air. So you're basically paying whatever the price is for this. For half a bag of air and maybe, I don't know, 20 chips or so. <laughs> That's pretty good, though. I'm actually surprised that none of the stuff I had, besides the pickled onion, which was a little weird, but I'm surprised the prawn one I actually liked. I didn't think I was going to like that at all. 
but I really didn't taste the prawn, so that might be why. Oh, we didn't do these yet. I thought I was about to get into the candy, and then I remember this weird bacon-flavored cereal snack. It wasn't until it said cereal snack that I got nervous. <laughs> like, bacon flavor fried didn't sound bad, but then it says cereal snack, and I'm like, eh, that's a little weird. It doesn't really have a smell. It looks like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Like a long strip of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. But kind of like the shape of bacon a little bit too. I don't really smell anything. How do they do that? I mean, it tastes like bacon. Obviously, it doesn't have the texture of bacon because it's not actually bacon. That is so weird. So it's like a chip mixed with a cinnamon toast crunch. Now, that's from the texture, not the flavor. <laughs> The texture is like a chip mixed with cinnamon toast crunch, and it's flavored like bacon. Which, to be honest, really isn't that bad. I keep eating them, because I like bacon. I'm really surprised, Ireland. You scared me. First you scared me with the whole, these snacks are expired. Then you scared me with the flavors on the bags. But then you surprised me by the stuff actually not being as gross as I thought it was going to be. Rinse our palate there. Because I'm sure... If I don't, then when I mix into all this little candy stuff, then we might run into some problems. Move all these up here. Oh. Still got that club orange we gotta try too. Um, I'll start with these Revels, the ones I think it said were like mystery, where you don't know what you're gonna get. I don't know if that means like it's one bag of all the same flavor or one bag of all mystery flavors. Not really any texture. That one was good. I think that was raisin. Okay, I'm going to try another one to see if it's something different or if it's just a mystery bag of all the same thing. The first one I had, if you're in the U.S., Raisinets. That's basically what it was. Nope. That's like molasses because it's very chewy. We'll do one more. That's interesting because... They all basically look the same. Like, they're all... I guess if you were really trying, you could probably pick out what each one is. Like the fact that this one's flat means it's obviously not the same thing as that one. This one's probably a malt bowl, actually. I was right. So if you know, like if you're huge into chocolate candies and you know your textures. Or shapes, I should say. Then you could probably tell. But that's kind of cool because it's, it's like a mystery bag. Kind of like when you get the like the snack mix and it's more, more things mixed together. It's kind of like that. Um, let's see. Well, I think I want to get through the chocolate stuff first before I get into the weird fruity flavors. Because that would be too many weird combinations. Oh, these are both Cadbury's. The Cadbury Shortcake and the Cadbury Sandwich Biscuit. 
I'm gonna try and break this without making a huge mess. If you got a significant other, you always gotta figure out a way to share it with them too. Okay, that wasn't bad. That broke off actually pretty easily. Now this stuff, the chocolate stuff, I'm really not gonna bother smell testing because it's just gonna smell like chocolate. Pretty good. It kind of reminds me of that, um, I think there's an Italian snack called, like, biscotti or something like that. That's what that reminds me of because it has the chocolate and then, like, the hardened biscuit. Alright, next we got the Cadbury Shortcake Snack. It feels like it's two different ones, so this might actually be an easier one. Yeah, there's two of these in one bag. So that one I might actually be able to eat the whole thing. Okay. That's really good. Texture is never talk with a mouthful of food. It's just rude. The texture is very similar to the one before it that I said reminded me of biscotti, but it's like very slightly different, so it's not exactly the same. But good. I mean, you just saw me eat the whole thing, so obviously I liked it. We got the milk chocolate covered mellow cake. Man, this stuff is going to kill my stomach later. Now this one, I don't think I can break apart without making a mess. It's already been kind of smashed. Let's see. Actually, it broke apart a little easier than I thought it would. It's got a little bit of a weird texture in there. I don't know what that is. It's pretty good. I think I have a weird check, a weird taste from something else. Mixing in with that, that was like a cake with marshmallow in it, but like the the cake texture was like a sponge. <laughs> so maybe it's like a sponge cake. I guess that's the closest I could say. Oh my goodness! There's still. All right, we'll try the star bar. Which is the peanuts and caramel. That's another Cadbury. I doubt that's anything majorly special. I feel like I had this in another one. Like Australia or something. I don't like the way that looks when you break it apart. It looks like some alien organism. Very chewy. A little weird. You can definitely taste the peanut, but it's more like peanut butter. So it has like a slight crunchiness. And then chewiness from the caramel. Got a little bit of peanut butter. And now I taste, with the crunchiness, a little bit of dry roasted peanuts. The hardest part about that is definitely the chewing it. Not bad, but definitely weird. Obviously, if you don't like peanuts, then you probably wouldn't want it because it's definitely heavy on the peanuts. Um, I don't know how we're going to do this one. Because it's a hard candy.
I don't want this in, like, I don't want this to be like a 20 minute video of me sucking on this hard candy. So, I don't like it anyway. It tastes like a friggin' cough drop. <laughs> Basically, like a whole cough drop. So, that was the bet. I'm glad I didn't take that whole. I'm glad I just took, like, a licking of that. Yeah, that was a lot like a cough drop. So, I'm definitely not holding that in there. Holding that in there. I'm definitely not keeping that in my mouth until it's finished. We'll go ahead and try these drumstick squashies or whatever the heck they are. Original raspberry and milk flavor. Those are pretty good. It has a slight texture of like what you think would be like mar oh, there's still peanut in there. It has a slight texture of what you think would be a marshmallow. But well, you can tell it's not marshmallow and it tastes more like a gummy. So it's truly like marshmallow. What is in this? Corn syrup? That's what it freaking reminds me of. If you're old enough and you watch this channel, you might remember. When I was a kid, we had those little things you could collect called Stretch Armstrongs. Where his arms and everything would stretch out. Yeah, this is the texture of a Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> so... If Stretch Armstrong was flavored and edible, that's what you'd have. <laughs> it's pretty good, though. I'll give them that. These must be really, really sour. This is, it says, extreme, extremely sour, tutti fruity chews. Warning, don't bite off more than you can chew. Suitable for vegetarians. It seems like a lot of these Ireland foods I got said suitable for vegetarians. So if there's any vegetarians out there, some of these would be suitable and you can actually eat them, which is kind of cool. I just dropped half the candy on the dang floor. Okay, this is like a big version of friggin' Starburst. Look at that, man. That's huge. What's the other thing they had that was bigger than Starburst? Now and laters? This might be similar to that. I'll try the tutti fruity one first. Um, Ireland, I'm a little bit worried about this. I'm extremely worried about that. Right there. I can't even get the wrapper off to eat this freaking thing. Okay, let me try another one. Maybe there's a trick to the madness here. I highly doubt it. I think it's just extremely sticky. And then you gotta think, it shipped to me. It probably came through heat. <laughs> it wasn't well preserved. We're just gonna have to bite off like a chunk of it and not the whole thing because you can see the more I try and tear off this little wrapper, it just sticks to everything. So I'll just nibble off a little corner that doesn't have wrapper on it. Woo! That is really sour. Ew, I just saw a nasty string of that crap. Cut that out. <laughs> that was really, really sour. Wow, my goodness. The most sour thing I ever had when I was a kid in the U.S. would be like a warhead. 
this is more sour than that. And, okay. I don't like it, literally, because it's sticking to the roof of my mouth, despite the fact that I just ate it. And I do not like that feeling of something sticking to the roof of my mouth. We'll see if this one's a little bit better than the other one. Okay, yeah, I think the other one got melted somehow. This one came right out of the package. It's basically a now and later. Really sour version of it. Really chewy version of it. I think the berry ones, we just got a bad batch. Or, I had them sitting up here on my computer desk next to my laptop. And the heat from the laptop might have melted it. Surprising the apple is not as sour as the berry. I'm usually not a fan of sour apple. There's the sour. <laughs> the longer you chew on it, the more sour it gets. All in all, though, in this snack crate, nothing too bad. Go ahead and get this cup so I can pour some of this in here for my wife. This is the last on our list, as you guys know. We always save the drink for last. I don't know if it's like soda or juice. It smells like orange soda. I think I gave you about half. I'm going to very carefully set that over there. And then I'll take a swig. Yeah, this is like, um, it's more orange than like a U.S. orange soda because it tastes like they actually mix like maybe like a non-flavored soda or something like that with actual orange juice. So it has a stronger orange flavor. I dig it. It's pretty good. It's not, I don't taste the uh, real bits that it says. I don't taste that. But I do taste the orange flavor. So yeah. That's going to do it for the Ireland snack crate. In terms of, okay, least favorite was definitely the... Uh, Mega Meanies Pickled Onion. It was a crunchy puff corn snack, I guess. And then it would have been... Oh my gosh, there's too many things to go through. In terms of the non-candy, we'll say we went from Mega Meanies to the... Uh, what was the other one? The prawn one. Oh my gosh, I keep burping from the stupid soda. It's disgusting! I can't find it on here. Favorite Irish pub snack. Okay, the bacon fries was pretty good. It looks like they have another one that they didn't send me that says scampi flavored fries. That might have been a little gross. I guess Ireland loves prawn and like shrimp flavored things. <laughs> okay, so the oat filled hard candy, they would have either had chocolate orange or glucose barley. I would have much rather had the chocolate orange, because I actually like chocolate orange, and the glucose barley. Okay, so actually, because I didn't mind the prawns, we'll say that the pickled onion was my least favorite, and then there's glucose barley, because that just tastes like a cough drop. Then we'll go to the prawns, and then I'm not going to rank everything, because there's too many things to go through, and I can't remember everything I had. 
Out of the candy, my favorite was probably... Uh, it was one of the Cadbury ones, I believe. I don't remember which one because there's 50,000 freaking things in here. Some of these doesn't even look like anything I got. It might have been that classic snack bar one. The butter, There's a buttery shortcake biscuit square or the original sandwich version. I don't know which one of those I got. Oh, no, actually, I think the Revels. Revels? Revels? I don't know. That one was kind of cool because it had the mixture of them. So that was probably my favorite in the candies. So, yeah, that's going to do it for our Ireland snack crate. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to dino stomp that like button for your boy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. But until then, stay Rexy, everybody. Bye-bye.